A lot of people love Super Mario 64. I am not one of them. As I see it, there are two major shortcomings of Super Mario 64. It's too cryptic, and the controls are clunky and imprecise. I'm going to start with the number one. It's too cryptic. How was I supposed to know that you can punch this wooden plank? I spent several minutes trying to lure a bullet bill into the wooden plank because that's what I thought blast away the wall meant. How was I supposed to know that blast away the wall means destroy these walls using the cannon? How was I supposed to know that you could get up here? How was I supposed to know that you can pass through this picture with the vanish cap? How was I supposed to know that the star was up here? How was I supposed to know that you can go inside this volcano? How was I supposed to know that you can walk up these pillars? How was I supposed to know that through the jet stream means swim through the jet stream? How was I supposed to know that you can push these blocks? How was I supposed to know whether or not some of the secrets are in the downtown area? If I journey to the downtown area, I can't get back to the main area, I would have to start over. How was I supposed to know that there's a secret portal here? How was I supposed to know that ground pounding this hole at the top of Tiny Island drains the water? How was I supposed to know that you can get a second star in the princess's secret slide if you reach the bottom of the slide in under 21 seconds? How was I supposed to know that catching MIPS, again, would give me another power star? How was I supposed to know about this secret entrance? Now I move on to point two. The controls are clunky and imprecise. Firstly, I would like to say that I've been playing Super Mario 64 on the Wii U Virtual Console. People have been saying that there's input lag on the Wii U Virtual Console. That may be true and that may affect my opinion on the controls in this game. I don't know, I haven't played Super Mario 64 on the original Nintendo 64. Anyway, I actually have grown to somewhat appreciate the controls in Super Mario 64. It feels good to double jump kick, double jump dive, triple jump dive, side flip dive. I do appreciate the quick maneuvers this moveset allows. It feels much better jumping around like this in Super Mario 64 than in, for instance, Super Mario Galaxy. However, there are still some things that I have a problem with. There is no reason for wall jumps to be this difficult to execute. You can't initiate a wall jump if you're too close to the wall, and it can often be difficult to keep up a string of successive wall jumps. There is no reason for you to be pushed back like this upon impact with a wall, and ledges can often be difficult to grab onto. Now that I've gone over the major shortcomings, I would like to criticize just a few more aspects of Super Mario 64. At the top of the castle, there is a level titled Wing Mario Over the Rainbow. If you fall into the abyss below, which will happen dozens of times, you will end up outside the castle. Then you have to spend approximately 45 seconds getting back to the level, which is quite tedious. This could have been fixed by maybe placing a teleporter here, that would send you back to the level. Lives in this game serve almost no purpose whatsoever. The only punishment for getting a game over is wasting your time having to get back to the level or removing your checkpoint if you happen to be in one of the few areas in the game which have a checkpoint. As far as I know, Tall Tall Mountain's slide and the Bowser fights are the only areas in the game which give you a checkpoint. You can't always obtain the 100 coin star. When I was getting the 100 coin star in Big Boo's Haunt, the last coin I collected happened to be this red coin on top of the bookshelf. The 100 coin star then spawned in the ceiling. I couldn't obtain it and had to start over. Speaking of 100 coin stars, when I was trying to get the 100 coin star in Hazy Maze Cave, I thought it would be a good idea to go to the Cavern of the Metal Cap, since there are plenty of coins there. However, turns out that the Cavern of the Metal Cap is considered its own area not a part of Hazy Maze Cave. I couldn't go back to Hazy Maze Cave and the coin counter had reset. I had to start over. 